What is going on guys? Welcome back to Matt Trades Life. My name is Matt and in this video we are going to be going over my first week's recap of Carmine Rosado's Invest to Trade Supply and Demand course as well as recapping my very first trade that I took, paper trade mind you, uh, from some of the knowledge that I gained in the course and it was a positive trade. We made some money on the deal even though it's paper money and paper trading. We're going to go over that in this video as well. So Thanks for coming back, guys. I know in my previous video, I said I was going to be jumping into this. So in this video, I'm going to recap exactly what I've done so far for the first week of being involved in this course. Right off the bat, I want to say that I've seen a decent uh, uptick in my understanding of some of these, um, I guess you could say supply and demand zones, understanding support and resistance and learning to identify those trends and kind of how the market is going. And then also I will say the discord has been incredibly beneficial. So how I'm approaching this content is that I, and I did this through college, I did this through high school, whenever I would get a, a test, a textbook, or whatever I had to go through, workbook, whatever you want to call it, I would first look at the entire thing sporadically. I would flip through all the pages, start back to front, start in the middle, work my way to the beginning. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. I am looking at all the different facets of this course and simply back engineering it. So what I'm doing is I'll look at the book map video and then go all the way back to understanding technical analysis. Then I'll look at how to read level two or read the tape and then go all the way back to uh, the fundamentals of trading and key terms that I should know or learning how to identify resistance. So I'm jumping all over. So that was my first week to kind of get bits and pieces of the course to see how the flow goes. And I will say that the content is incredibly consistent. The videos that are within the course are anywhere from, you know, 10 to 45 minutes long. Some of the longer videos are up to two hours. So you get a lot of content within this course. And I want to preface, I don't have a referral link. I paid for this out of my own money. I'm not being paid to say this. This is an unbiased review of my first very unorganized week so far. The second most beneficial thing is the Discord. Uh, I've noticed an insane amount of value from the Discord itself in terms of members just being super forthcoming with their strategies, what they're trading, what they're looking at. No real secrets, I guess you could say. All of the testimonials you see Carmine post on his Instagram or in his YouTube videos are directly from the Discord. I've seen those exact photos myself, so he just screenshots them and puts them up there. And uh, I will say that the comment, the intraday commentary and their pre-market plan that Carmine and Dylan post every morning is generally pretty spot on as well. Very articulate, well thought out, intricate detail, the key levels they're watching and looking for. So could you, in essence, mirror their trades and do that? Sure, but you're not helping yourself in the long run. I am in this course to better identify the supply and the demand zones and understanding the support and resistance. Now, mind you, I've spoken to some very profitable and wealthy people who trade about this instance, and this is all over Instagram. I don't know these people personally. I will post their screenshots maybe here or in the coming videos, uh, so be on the lookout for those. But they pretty much said supply and demand is bullshit. Support and resistance makes some sense, but this they're from the institutional side, so they're like, don't even focus on that. It makes zero sense. These are both very wealthy people, and I don't think they have anything against Carmine or what he teaches, but I will say I've seen my knowledge increase in understanding this and getting a better um, comfort level with entering and exiting a trade. Whereas before when I was trading, it was more like, well, I think it's going to go this way. So I'm just going to send it and see what happens. This has eliminated that so far. But mind you, like I said, this is my first week of me jumping around. So I haven't gone through everything step by step. That is going to be coming in the next videos where I recap. So please subscribe for those videos that are coming up. But so far, I will say that the course is very good. It is very detailed. Some of the videos are a little bit older. I think one of them is from 2019 or a few of them are from 2019. And then they get progressively better as they go on. But I think the, the information is timeless. So don't really worry about that too much. My first thoughts, week one being done of me just jumping around, definitely worth the money. So feel free to find comfort in that for what it's worth. Um, but with all that being said, guys, be on the lookout for the next video. Let's get right into the paper trade that I took here. So I'm going to jump off this video. We're going to go right to the screen recording on my iMac. The chart pulled up here. This was Tesla from Friday. And now mind you, this is the entire day here. This is the one day, one minute candle, uh, candlestick chart. So one thing that I was able to identify heavily from this chart was, and I'm going to pull up these drawings here too is hold one sec let's pull up just the regular lines here you could see this 
line trend line right here was pretty much support all day and that was validated a couple different times and then tested right here and then here was the high of day so we'll just mark that for fun okay so you can see that everything pretty much traded within these zones now you could have identified this from the past few days i was going back 5 10 and 15 days looking at the 10 and 15 minute charts and i'm trying to get a better understanding of that one thing that i've discovered with me personally is that I don't trade roughly the first hour or two of uh, of the market open. This volatility right here is insane. And if you just went off these probably, what, five, four or five candles, you'd think this chart's going up until you see this and then it drops itself down, but it comes into support. Then we had a rally right here, and then it pretty much moved linear where it consolidated, consolidated pretty much right in this zone. I'm gonna draw this, and then let's see draw okay great so pretty much start here and then it's like okay boom you would think it's going to trade within this until you see it load up and then it pops right here so i didn't get into my trades until you see these bubbles over here so i let the entire day go by and plus i was doing other things but um, i did not trade these exact zones but in theory you could have gotten in up here shorted it on the way down when it came into this zone because you did see it bounce pretty quickly so that's exactly what I did when I got to the trades later in the afternoon. So let's zoom in on, on this side of things here. Okay, so you can see I got in generally about here. I took 100 shares long, came all the way up, watched it test this once, came back down, but had a nice candle here and brought itself back up. And then as it started to fade down, I sold right about here, came back down, saw I had two nice, th actually three nice moves up. Then I saw it come right into that same exact, sub, uh, this support, I mean, this demand zone, not demand, this supply zone up here, excuse me. And then I got short right about here, wrote it all the way down. This was very slow price action. So this was very, you know, tough to watch. Sold it right here, and that was my short position. So I got long here at about the 195, sold up here at the 196, 197 mark. Then as it got above 197, I went short came all the way back down into 195 and quite honestly um I made $245 or whatever was in the uh, PNL on this one but you could see I could have played this one more time this was a nice candle here a nice move up could have got short as we had it I mean long as we had it into power hour and then bam sold it up here somewhere as we came into the same exact supply zones so we had one two three four tests off supply and it just kept it right down so you can see how understanding these uh, zones could play into you making some steady trades. Now, mind you, if you took an option, you know, you took, I mean, a call option all the way up, bam, shorted some puts all the way down, you could have made a decent chunk of change on the day. But I mean, that just is what it is. And as you can see up here, guys, this is my uh, simulated account. So I want to show you the actual, I don't know how it pulls it up, but you can see here, my profit and loss for this trade was 246 bucks. And then obviously this is all fake money over here. So 246 bucks on this trade. That is everything for this video, guys. Be on the lookout for the next video because I'm gonna do a more in-depth, deep dive analysis into understanding how to trade options on this. That's the main goal that I got into was understanding options, how to um, properly pick the um, expiration, strike price, and all that, understanding option Greeks. So please subscribe for the next video. Those are coming up next, guys. But thanks so much for sticking around on this one. Comment down below with any questions that you guys have or any other future traders courses you would like for me to take and do reviews on. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.